Hi YouTube, today is uh, March 29, 2014. I'm making this video because I went to see Noah today. Um, there's been a lot of talk about how um, the movie Noah was made by an atheist and you know there's a lot of um, things in the movie that don't go along with the Bible. Um, and I'm just, I want to share my little two cents about that. Um, I got a lot of messages and, you know, saw a lot of posts on Facebook from people saying, you know, don't go watch it, don't go watch it. Um, but I'm one of those type of people, I feel like I have to see it for myself. And I have to um, use my own discernment on it and the things that I've been taught by the Holy Spirit, um, if the movie's correct or not. Um, I believe that the whole point of the movie is to express the times that we're living in now. Um, Jesus said it would be like the days of Noah and Lot, and I believe that this movie is just one of the signs that God is using to warn us of the times we're living in now. Um, now, from watching this movie, um, I, you know, before I got, went to see the movie, my concern was would people walk away? Um, with the with the Lord on their mind, um, with destruction on their mind, um, with prayer, um, what would they take from it? Um, and I myself, um, I live by the Word of God. Um, I study it, but the Bible also make references to other books, um, like the Book of Enoch. I know a lot of Christian people don't believe in the Book of Enoch, and you know that's fine to each his own. Um, but I personally think that Enoch is a piece of the puzzle when it comes to the Bible. A lot of things don't make sense unless you look into the book of Enoch. Um, Enoch is mentioned in the Bible. It said he walked with God. Um, and Noah is a descendant of e Enoch. And, um, you know, Enoch elaborated more on the fallen angels and a lot of the things that took place back in his day. And, um... I think that if you haven't, if you don't know much about the book of Enoch, then you're going to look at this film, Noah, and you're going to say, um, they're lying, something's wrong. Because you you hadn't been exposed to that information yet, so you really don't, you can't make righteous judge, judgment about it. You're, you're looking at the Bible, and you're going off the Bible and what the Bible say about it. Um, now, as far as the film, there was things in the film that kind of threw a red flag. Um, you can tell that they probably elaborated more on the details of the story. Um, but who's to say that? You know, I know that when people make movies, they do um, a lot of research about it. I mean, they have access to text and information that we probably haven't even seen yet. Um, but who's who knows? It just it gives me a better visual of the time of Noah and what it was like when they was living, you know, and how things look. Um, so I wasn't really too upset with the story detail. Um, my thing was, would they stay in line, in, in line with the word and with how things, uh, the word said, because it was a so-called atheist who made the movie. And I would have to say they did. Um, everything, they, they might not, they might didn't say God, but they said creator and you know I know who my I know who the creator is so I mean I wasn't offended by that um I know some people may be but you know like I said to each his own um I really felt like you know Noah was a determined from what the the film show Noah was determined to do what God instructed him to do what God showed him um, Methuselah, he was an old wise man who lived in a cave, um, who knew things, who knew ancient things, and, you know, he was gifted by God. Um, I heard somebody say something about he was a he does witchcraft and all this stuff. I just, my thing is, who are we to say Methuselah did witchcraft when our medicine is witchcraft? You know, we can't really just look at that and be like, oh, that's witchcraft. <sighs> I mean, the thing about the Bible, and in this movie, Noah says, um, you know, this whole generation is corrupt. Everything is corrupt. Man is corrupt. I'm even corrupt. They they even show a scene in the movie where Noah see himself in, in a corrupt mind. So, I mean, I don't think that they left out 
anything as far as that. Um, I do. I, I heard somebody say on Fox News that it was more of a from a environmentalist point of spe- perspective, and I didn't get that either. Um, the the whole point of the movie was we are about to be destroyed because we are evil. Evil is here, and we didn't. We're not doing right by God. And he's not happy. Well, the Creator, but. You know, my overall for the movie, I, I really think that, you know, it. I walked out of there thanking God, thanking God for what he does. I thank God for every breath we breathe. Um, it's still on my heart and it's still on my mind. And I want to be faithful like Noah, you know. That's what I took from the movie. Um, who knows what you're going to take from it, but... You know, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. You can add me on Facebook. My name is Alexandria Zeno. Or you can shoot me a message on YouTube. Um, All right, then.